today's show is going to be a festive one. It is all about a holiday reef pizza on my Pizziola 4-in-1 16-inch pizza oven. So first up, what we got to do is we got to get this pizza oven all lit up. And that is a pretty simple process. And you've got two ways to do it. You can do a small coal bed on the bottom and start adding your kindling in or your wood in, whatever it is you're gonna use. Or you can grab a couple fire starters, build your fire that way. I am gonna go with the latter. So all that is gonna start with two fire starters. From there, I will get my kindling up and I will get my uh, wood on top of that. I will also break out the uh, break out the torch just to help it along. I've got some scattered sticks in the yard. I will build it that way also. As you could see, I got some nice cherry wood. I mean, this is seasoned and this is ready to go. And the whole process is probably only gonna take about maybe 10 minutes or so. Once it is lit, once it is raging, I will get that top and I will add that top on and also get that stone and add that stone in. So you've got your pizza oven all lit up, all going. This is the part of the recipe that you all crush me to dust. But yeah, I did want to follow the recipe that I found online. So I am going to use a Pillsbury pie crust. But I can safely say you could use your favorite recipe for a pizza dough as it should work fairly well. I will open up this pie crust as you can see and I will spread it out. I am going to use a 16 inch screen. That is going to help me control it in this pizza oven. One thing I have found out on these pizza ovens is that you do have to turn it a lot. So the screen definitely helps. We will do our best to unfold it on that pizza screen and keep it as round as possible. So once you've got that all folded out, all rounded as possible, we are gonna get some mozzarella sticks. These are string cheese sticks because we are gonna load our crust around the edges with the string cheese. After that, we will get it in the uh, Pizziola pizza oven because we wanna bake it off for about a minute or two. At that point, we will pull it out and we will load it up with our goodies. A couple footnotes, our oven temp on that stone is 600 and also that preheat of the crust I do feel is very important as it does start the uh, melting of the outer edges mozzarella cheese. First thing to do is to get that sauce on. After that sauce, we've got our cut up mozzarella cheese. Now spend the money and get a good polio cheese. You wanna go on with that cheese. And once you think you've got enough cheese on, you wanna hit it with some more cheese. From there, I do have some chopped up red and green bell peppers. That is gonna give me that holiday theme. You can go basil leaves if you want or something like that to bring on that green. As for myself, I do love that pepper on pizza. So I'm just gonna loosely chop up some bell pepper, get it all around the pizza. I'm gonna go with some half cherry tomatoes. That is gonna give me a little bit more red color. And to finish my pie, I've got some leftover green basil from the, uh, from the garden. It is all dried out. I will sprinkle that along the top. That is it. In the oven she goes. And now again, word of caution, at a 600 Fahrenheit stone temp, we are gonna have to turn it, turn it, and turn it, and keep on on turning it once I am happy with that color I will get it out on the board give it a brief rest and bring you guys back for that taste test and that was certainly a lot of fun and here you go we do look a little bit singed over here on the uh, on the corners where the dough got a little bit of thin otherwise it looks pretty good we've got a nice melt in that crust I definitely dig that and it looks like a uh, it looks like a Christmas or a holiday wreath just a little bit, so I am definitely pleased with that. Let's give it a quick slice open and check it out. So we are not that bad on the bottom, as you could see. Actually, we are pretty perfect on the bottom. As mentioned, there is your cheesy crust. Oh yeah, I am definitely digging that. And a quick cheers. Guys, first off, I gotta say, you could use regular pizza crust. I just wanted to keep it per the recipe and all that information will be down in the uh, 
and a description. I love peppers on a pizza and the red and green peppers definitely make it look nice and festive and they, and, and they just got an awesome flavor. The fresh tomatoes, the mozzarella. I mean, this is a winner, man. This is fun for, uh, definitely fun for the kids, but also fun for adults as I had a lot of fun doing this cook. This is the Pizziella Pizza Oven. This is the 16 inch version. I will have information down below on these. I mean, I think this thing's about 120 bucks or so and it does so much from steaks to chicken and obviously the pizza and everything in between, man. This is an all-purpose pizza oven that does a damn good job and is priced right, and I recommend it 100%. So look, that is going to close out this show. Again, my name is Tommy. I appreciate you all for watching. It is a holiday wreath pizza, and until next time, we will see you soon. Oh, yeah.